Sharky Breath. He plays video games. Hello and welcome back. We just stepped into this shrine outside of the Gerudo village. Looks like we're dealing with more, uh, Dakochisei. Dakochisei. That's. That's another curious one, guys. Looks like we're dealing with more generators, though. The whole picture. Okay. Okay. Uh, looks like we have some uh, conduits on the ground. Hmm. I'm thinking. I'm thinking, right, that uh, these metal things on the ground are contacts, and if you were to, say, connect them with something metal. Ow! Yeah. That that would happen. Also, I see I got myself electrocuted. That's cool. Um, okay. Cool. Gotcha. And what do I need to activate in order to... Looks like we got two bulbs there. And they're probably going to need to both be activated, I assume. Okay. Anything else I should be aware of before I start just shuffling things around, huh? Wait, there are... Oh, there are four here. So I don't need to... I don't need to connect all of them. I just need to make sure I connect at least two of them. Gotcha. I'm just removing that so that I don't, uh... Accidentally zap myself. Oh! And I see... I have to... I have to activate these in order to open up more metal parts. Gotcha. Oh, okay, yeah. No problem. So we can just take this barrel... And put it, uh... Right there. That'll work. Now we just take this box. And we put it... There. Great, now I got a barrel. Let's see, can I... There we go. There we go. We just know you gotta put this down someplace where it's not gonna connect anything because I would zap myself pretty good. Okay, to get this one active is gonna take three chunks, which I now have, so let's do it. So, first, you go here, then you go right there, and finally, you. Right there. Box in a metal chest that can be used to conduct things, I bet you. Thunderblade. Thunder, thunder, thunderblade. Let's just test that theory, though. How about it? Oh, yes, it definitely can. Ha! <laughs> gotcha. Now, I wonder if that means this isn't the secret one. I wonder if that means it's required in some regard. I will soon find the answer to my question. Okay. Ah, okay, so I need to open up this grating over here first. Got it, no problem. Activate that. Believe I'm gonna need this for the, uh gap right here, if I'm seeing this correctly. Yeah, just like that. Now... Okay, I need both of those barrels. Oops. Hello, scope. That's been a little while. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. This goes here. And... Up and over. This goes... Oh, there. Oops, too far? Too far. Drag it back a little bit. There, no, too, too close now. Quit being impatient. Just do it right. There you go. Great, we got another box. Now hopefully we've got enough to um, set up these conduits here. So clearly I'm going to need to put one here. Yeah. 
Is it just as simple as dropping the other box over? No, it's not. That's okay, though. I'll figure it out. I know this one has to go here. Ow! Okay, that was close. That was close. Get, get, get in there. Get in there. Oh man, it's, I'm way too close to this thing. Okay. There. Oh, that did it. Great. I've done it. Let me just take a quick look around the room, make sure I didn't miss another chest. I mean, sure, there was that thunder blade, but I kind of needed the chest in order to finish the puzzle, you know? Nevertheless, I think that was probably the bonus item. Okay, cool. Hey, you saw that other guy who could levitate one ring? Well, that's nothing, check this out. <laughs> yeah. Very impressive. Actually, I like to think that all he did, actually, was toss them in the air as he got frozen. He's like, this is gonna look awesome when I get thawed. Just you wait. All you other skeletal dudes are gonna be jealous. Yeah, I know about Koroks. Thank you. Okay. So... Hmm. So I've got the guy standing outside the village. Sorry, I'm thinking about what I'm going to do here. Because I need to sneak into the Gerudo village now. Apparently. Oh, right. I was going to check out that, um... I was going to check that thing out. Whoops. Right. I'm still wearing my sweater. And it's hot. And it's hot. Okay. Um... Switch to that, but it's only going to help so much. Do I... I didn't make anything. As discussed, I didn't make anything. Oh boy. Heat stroke ahoy. What am I gonna do? <laughs> Wait, no, I'm okay. I'm okay. Apparently this close to Gerudo Town, it's not that not a problem. But if I go over here, it's a problem. Right. Okay. So my choices are die of heat stroke in the desert or sneak into Gerudo Town. So I guess let's uh, get on the Ladder option, shall we? Whoa, 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 hey, how did you... A foe has been detected, capture him once, but how did you know? You guys are good. Ow. Yeah. Huh? Foe are forbidden from entering this town. This is Gerudo Law, do you understand? Never come back. I'm definitely gonna come back. I just need to figure out how. Okay, you know what? I could I could try and get a sea seal. I mean, a, a sand seal. In the absence of a plan right now for how to deal with getting into the town, I can get myself a sand a sand seal. Now it seems as though they're more sensitive to. Sound than visuals, right? Oh. oh, I see. Oh, I see. I ride on my shield behind them. Like, uh, as though I'm water skiing. But I'm still dying of heat stroke, so that's cool. Let's get a little closer to the the shrine in the town, maybe I won't uh, be in so much danger. And this is more convenient, that's for sure. Okay, alright. Uh, thank you. Hey, you have a quest. Let's hear it. Lane. Savak! Oh. Greetings, Hylian. This is the northwest gate of Gerudo Town. Feel free to admire it from the outside. But don't attempt to cross its threshold. Town law states Vo like yourself are not allowed within these walls. Yeah, apparently you didn't talk to the North Gate guards, huh? Mm. Though I must admit, I'm impressed you got here from the Northwest. <gasps> Did you truly pass through that sand sandstorm to get here? Um... No. I didn't. Oh. Of course you didn't. A Gerudo sandstorm has the temperament of a raging stallion. If you wander into one, you'll lose all sense of direction. Even us Garuda are in, are in a bind if one seizes upon us. But the ancients were able to use the storms to their advantage. It's said they hid all manner of treasure here. Treasure? 
Having said that, I don't really know the details either. Okay. Good story. There are statues of swordswomen scattered across Gerudo Desert. They're remnants of ages long past. Oh. People talk about the statues pointing to the hiding place of ancient treasure, but that's just superstition. If it, even if it was true, there are dangerous monsters in the sandstorms. I wouldn't risk it. Yeah, that's fair. Oh man, so sand seals are definitely not your buddy after you've ri ridden them for a little while, huh? Oh, he, he sees me back here. Chill out, friend. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, take it nice and easy. Oh man, look at his belly. Look at his belly. Grab him. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's go over this way. Okay, there's some melons here. Apparently I can urge him to dash. That's convenient. Let's go ahead and get off here. Electric Saflina. Okay, that seems potentially useful at some point. I'm not going to try scaling the walls again. That didn't seem to work out so hot last time. Hey, it's... Who are you? Bozai. Oh, it's just a guy. Saw me running around, huh? See, I heard Gerudo women liked a guy in sand boots, so I've been jogging all over for, for forever trying to show off. But none of them will talk to me. I'm starting to wonder if that rumor was just a bunch of bunk. Sand boots? Can, can I have them? <laughs> sand boots let you walk normally on sand, so if you live in the desert, believe me, you want a pair. But the only person capable of making them passed away, which means they're impossibly rare and extremely valuable. What do you think? Jealous, right? Give me those boots. Yeah, give me those boots. Huh? You're coveting these things after you heard me sing their praises? Not cool. Well, obviously I am. Give me those boots. Look, these sand boots are super rare. Maybe I'd consider giving them to if you were if you could, to you if you were a girl, but a guy? No. I'm busy here. Get lost. Man. So what I'm hearing, based on both the village and on Bozai here, is you guys want me to cross dress? I guess? I... I don't know where else you're going with this. If there's someplace else you're going with that, that that's fine too. But that's the impression I'm getting. Come on, Sand Seal. No, 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 no. Stay put. Stay put. You and me, we got places to be, and they ain't here. There we go. Alright, over this way, please. Man, these things are amazing. Look at him. Oh, wow. He goes real fast if we're dashing. Okay. Okay, okay. There we go. Yeah, thanks, C. It's a sand seal. <laughs> Hi. Savak. Savak. Uh? Hear this. Men are not allowed in Gerudo Town, so quit loitering and get out of here. Okay. Cool. Lashley. Got it. Hmm. I don't seem to be making a great deal of headway. My entire plan was to, uh... Scale the walls and sneak in that way, but, um... That doesn't seem to be doing it, really. So, I guess... I guess I need to find another plan. Furthermore, I need to get back to the oasis and make some heat resistance stuff because I'm going to die out here. Yeah, keep keep dashing, buddy. Keep dashing. I I need to get back there. <laughs> it's a lot further than I remember it being. Oh hey, Is that... whoops, whoops, whoops. That was a dude. I kind of want to talk to that dude, but I also want to not die. So. Hold that thought. I will check those two out soon. Hey! Oh shoot, he just... He vanished into the sand. That's awful. I don't... Okay. How am I gonna get... Well, I guess I'll have heat resistance stuff when I go back, so... Alright, stand by a second. I gotta... I gotta just... No, not sit by the fire. I need to... I need to make some heat resistance stuff, so... Hang out just a minute.
Hey! Apparently that one was fancy somehow. I wish I could just tell it to make as many of those as I can. Because that's what I need. I'm gonna do a quick test though. See if it's a longer duration or shorter duration with a different item. <laughs> that seems to be exactly the same. Okay. Okay. Swift Violet. Didn't I find something else that would grant me heat resistance? Maybe not. Maybe not. Whoops, whoops, I messed it up. There, that. And, oh, I don't know, let's say... Octorok Tentacle, sure. Ah, uh, it's, it's shorter duration and less quality resistance. Interesting. So the ingredient you you mix it with is actually quite important. Let's try with a Henox tooth. Hmm, better duration, but not by much. I'm doing a science. Don't mind me. Wait, wait, I need that last one. Okay. <laughs> Good thing I remembered that. I need that for a quest. Um... What's your deal? Hey, hey, chill out. You got your tail. Now what? You seem confused. That's fair, though. Oh, are we friends? Cool. Um... Do you want a drumstick? I think I have a drumstick around here. Yeah, a thigh. Here. You like a bird thigh? Here. Does that appeal to you? Dogs like chicken? Or ostrich legs or whatever it is? Seems like yes. Cool. Good to meet you, dog. Um... And you're still here. Hey, what's the deal? Hello there. I never knew the desert in the middle of the day could be so darn hot. I guess you can't really understand. Yep, yep, we've already talked about this. Not gonna leave yet. Uh, With the elixir, I can go as soon as I want, but there's no rush, really. I think I'll leave tomorrow. Okay, sure. Oh, you know, I never talked to the Goron here. I should do that. Does what not go away? Yeah. I'm watching the sandstorm. Wanna join me? Sure. Mm -hmm. Sandstorms are pretty common out in the desert. But if you get caught in one, you'll get lost for sure. But I hear that that sandstorm over there will die down for a few hours each day, clearing a path. I want to visit that huge tower, but the sandstorm's in the way, so... I'll just sit here and wait for it to die down. Okay. You should let me know if you figure out when it dies down. I would also like to visit that tower. He's not going to, is he? Yeah, hang in there, Beetle. I ain't got no business with you. I, you said that yesterday, and this seems to be the same stock, so I don't think it is. Fresh. Anymore. It's been lying in the desert heat for a day. Come on. I ain't no sucker. Okay. I guess we're headed back into the desert, so let's, uh... Whoops, not that, not that. Let's, uh, get one of them chili elixirs out, shall we? Eh, you just, that's fine. That'll do. Okay, back into the desert we go. I don't know what this is going to accomplish for me, but at least I should be able to do a little more exploring now that I have some, some elixirs to run through. Let me see that we have some Lizolfos watching the road. I'm not going to worry about that right now. As long as he stays over there, I got no beef with him. But I need to find the guy who's capable of sneaking into the into Gerudo Village. That's what I need right now. And I suspect that that guy I passed on the way here when I was behind the sand seal may be related. I could be wrong, but oh, come on. Get out of here. Yeah, all right. If you want to you want to deal with me, you can Wow, jeez. Whoa, he just killed me in one hit. I appreciate that, Mifa. This guy's crazy. Okay, okay. I'm taking you seriously now. 
Congratulations. You got my attention. Bring it in. Yeah, I thought I figured that was coming. There you go, right in the face. Take that. No, no, no. No more of that. Hey, the, the guy's running by. Quit distracting me, dude. I'm busy. Ah! I gotta, I gotta talk to this guy. Scare this guy so he stops running. What do Gerudo want? That's a good question. There we are. Garten. Well, you just didn't notice. Hey, he's just hanging out over there. I guess it's fine. That old divine beast makes the road between Car Car Bazaar and Gerudo Town a dangerous place. But I'm too keen on getting to know those Gerudo ladies to let that stop me. I'll dash right on through the desert. The Emporium's open. Come one, come all. All the little bits and bobs you need to spice up your dishes. What do you got? This is what I got at the moment. Well, that is impressive, isn't it? Well, give me those arrows. I'll take them all. 100 rupees. Yeah, that sounds reasonable. Yeah, no problem. No, nothing else, thanks. I don't know that I will. I doubt I'll have much business with you. I missed. How did I miss? I mean, he, he dashed around, but... How did you lose sight of me anyway? What's up with you? This guy has some serious issues with his uh, staying alive skills, I think. Oh, I'm full up on melee weapons. Well, the scimitar is about to die, probably. Probably. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> let's uh, let's go over here. Let's check out this little clearing. Okay, it seems to have enemies in it. That's cool. Looks like it's Lazalfos. That's cool. It's a bunch of them. I am less interested in checking out this clearing. I don't even see anything worthwhile in there. It looks like there's a bunch of crates, but... I couldn't even say what's in them. And more Lizalfos here. This place is just not friendly. That is for sure. Okay, make my way back to the quasi road. Here we are. Oh, I'm using up all my stamina, including my bonus ring that's been there since many sessions ago. I mean, many episodes ago, rather. Early on in this particular session. Okay, let's check out this ruin over here. I don't know what that could possibly do to help me sneak into Gerudo Village, but I will check it out. And maybe nothing will come of it. I am prepared to accept that risk. Okay, okay, what do we got? Anything? Oh, Lizalfos. At least he's not an electric one. Man, that guy just messed me up. Oh, that is though! That is though! How do you burrow like that? This is... This is masonry! You're nuts, dude. Right in the face. No, please no! Okay, there went my heat resistance. Um, am I in danger? At the moment, no, it's actually quite cool here. Oh, because the sun's coming down. There you go, there you go. Alright, alright, alright. Mess you up, mess you up! There. Take that. Okay. Is there anything worth mentioning here? Okay, we got more hunting Lizolfos. What am I looking for. I'm not really sure. Okay, it's cold now. I guess I need my sweater. Guess I need my sweater. I appreciate that they went realistic with that. Well, you know, sort of. <laughs> with how the, the desert is just miserably hot in the day and miserably cold in the night. I like that. I mean, I don't like it, but I like that they implemented it, you know? It's better than just being like, deserts are hot. That's how it is. I can grab these peppers, sure. If I need to make some spice of food, that will come in handy. But I'm not seeing much here except for herbs. So it seems like this particular mission isn't gonna pan out into much. Probably. Um, oh great, we got... We got... Skele lizards. There we go. Did that take care of you? No? Is there another one? How are you functioning? 
Okay, have fun. See you later. Probably. Hmm. Not seeing much of value in here. Not much of note at all. What's this? What is this? Let's check it out. There's a trapdoor or something. No, it's a cart. Northern Ice House. It is a trapdoor. Okay, I'll check that out next. I'm gonna go up top first. Northern Ice House, eh? Suppose that would be a fairly important service in the desert. Ah, wow, you made these ladders convenient, huh? Oh, come on, come on, you can do it, Link. You can't, you can't apparently do it. Um, how do, do I do it? This way. Yeah! There we go. Great. Now just, don't, don't, no, Link. There you go. Up here. Um... This is functionless. This is a crow's nest. <laughs> I do not need a crow's nest. Well, I got a nice view of the ruins. What's that? Oh, there's a Korok in the center. Okay, sure. Got it. Well, let's check out the ice house. Shall we? I'm gonna grab this herb quick. Okay. What do we got? Ice! Oh, hello. Who are you? My work's done for the day. If you need something, come back tomorrow. I guess. Ice. And water. Hmm. So you construct ice here? I guess. I feel like I don't have a reason to come here. <laughs> uh. I was thinking for me for a second that there might be like a secret passage from here to the Gerudo village, but why would that be true? That wouldn't make any sense at all. That wouldn't make any sense. So I guess I guess that's it for this place. And I don't have a way of sleeping until morning either. <laughs> well, well. This isn't getting me much of anywhere, is it? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. That's okay. That's okay. Let's head back through the, uh, ruins. For lack of a better idea, I don't know who I... I don't know what I need to do here in order to get inside the Gerudo village. Which is pretty much the problem I've been working on this entire episode. Admittedly. I mean, I figured out seal surfing. That's that's pretty cool, but... Oop, that's not working. That's not working. There we go. Did it. Okay, where's that? Wow, that's far away. Okay, I'm going. I'm going. You gotta, you gotta work with me here. Nope. Come on, come on. Okay. Get up there, get up. Get up there. This one seems easier, potentially, than some of the other ones? Yeah, this one seems easier. I'm okay with that. Okay. Cool. I got a Korok. That's progress of a sort. But, this doesn't explain what I need to do to get into Gerudo Village. I feel like I'm missing an NPC. I feel like I'm f I need to find someone who's gonna be able to tell me what I need to do. Well, maybe I just need ingenuity it, I suppose, but that didn't seem to work with the... the standard approach. Golden Bow. Hmm. Distant targets, you say? Well, I am intrigued, so let's, um... Let's try and get that in our inventory, shall we? I'll drop a Knight's Bow, I've got plenty. Yeah, give me that Golden Bow. That's a nice gold bow. Okay, cool. Um, I don't feel like playing with all the Zolfos right now. Not particularly. You know, I guess I could have teleported back to town. <laughs> I am not used to using 
quick travel and quite so... Ah. Uh... Oh, hey. What's that? Oh, shoot, it's... It's the Monster Man. It's the Monster Man! I need to get a picture of the Monster Man! I'm gonna go do it. I'm gonna go do it. Okay. Okay. I know the episode's supposed to be up. Ah, uh, my episode's supposed to be up. Alright. Okay. I got a little time. I'm gonna pause it so the time stops passing. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, next episode, we're gonna go talk to the Monster Man again. And maybe get a picture of him this time? That seems like important stuff. And then we're back to trying to sneak into the, the village. Into Gerudo Town. Because that seems even more important. But might be easier during the day? That doesn't make sense. It's nighttime. Sneak in during cover of night. That's what everybody always says always. Well, I'll figure it out. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time.